All right, all right, here we go again. Me the joke, Jack of all trades. We have a Cadillac CTS. This is an uh, 04, all right? Uh, I think it's a six cylinder, maybe 3.6 liter. Uh, don't want to mislead anybody to be exact on that. But I've been looking at some videos and you have to remove this guy. It's just four little bolts that go in that, all right? So you take these four out. Uh, and what they're leaving out of the information is, I'm gonna get to it because I, I don't like to look at the video for a long time to get what I want to know. Uh, bank one is the bank that we're getting a reading on for the camshaft position sensor down in this little hole right here. And this engine is still a little bit warm, uh, but if you got some man hands, you can take a little bit of heat. So I've already cracked open those bolts and I'm gonna crack this one open, okay? We want to get this one off so that we can remove this plate and get to the to the uh, sensor that's behind this. We already got the new sensor and uh, that wasn't loose enough as of yet. Let's get down in here, like I say, that pipe is still hot. You probably wanna let it cool out, be chilling, but I got a million things to do. There's someone that needs my help, so I'm trying to go ahead on and do this real quick so let me get this out of here i'll haul it back at you in a second as soon as i get this off all right so boom uh, we got that out the way we got this off uh, i don't know if this little wire up here is gonna look like it's gonna hold me off so uh i'm gonna take a 10 and get that off i don't want to pry stuff too much well i might be able to let me see it ain't gonna hurt now let me see flip this up yeah i can get in there and i can work with that so pop the hood on that thing that aluminum still got a little heat to it baby so I'm going I'm going after this sensor right here bank one camshaft position sensor all right we're gonna get that out show you what it looked like put the other one in and we'll be through with this a little quick you know what I'm saying afternoon job uh, when somebody need a helping hand put your hand on it 10 millimeter let me tell you something baby she won you got the fire all around you. You see that screw right there? We getting that off of that sensor. They got all these banks and all that stuff, man. I know why folk won't just tell you. So we needed a 10, 10 millimeter. I don't know if you can see that on there or not, but a 10 and a 13 is all I had to have to change this out right quick in your front yard, baby. Save yourself three, four hundred dollars down there at the dealership. By the time they charge you to assess it and do the job, uh, if you go and you get the code read from your little local parts house, uh, I think it was P0341 uh, was the code that it was given. Uh, so we're going to pull this sensor out, put the other one in, and we'll be through. Right, so we got a set of fraternal swings right here. This is the one that we just took out. It, and I can't confirm nor deny that this is the original equipment that came with the vehicle. But it's gold plated, look like. I don't know if that's oil stained or what. It, look, it, may, it may be stained with oil, but this is a brand new one. Same numbers, same clasp. And that's a good sign, baby. When you pull something out uh, and it's the exact same thing, you pull a sensor out and the one you got don't look like the one you're trying to put in either you got the wrong sensor or either you in the wrong location for the replacement so this is getting ready to go in here uh, I'm gonna clean get my camera down in there good I'm gonna clean that out and we're gonna start over with a new sensor and see if that helps uh, the situation out All right, so we got that spot cleaned out a little bit I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this I'm not gonna tell you that that's the, not telling you you need to do this, but this is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna steal a little bit of oil from around this cap. I'm gonna put a little bit on this ring. I'm putting a ring or something. Most times you wanna, I don't got it off camera, most times you wanna condition that ring a little bit before you pop it back in. All right, and we going in, same way we came out, upside down. I tell you what, let's go ahead on and here we go again, the one hand bandit. 
slide this thing in here. I'm telling you, I'm catching that that hose a little bit, that radiator hose. She warm, baby. So when you touch it, you back up off of that thing just like it's a like it's a electric line. It back you up off of it. So we got that started in there, and the same way you you take it out, kind of got a little little wiggle wiggle, and it pop right on in. All right. So then we're gonna take it, angle it straight down. All right. I got to move the camera out the way so I can see. It's either I see or you see. All right. So we starting that in there. That's in there, bit biting good. Ain't no cross thread. All right. Ten millimeter. Let me get another shot in there. You can see it good. Okay. That other hole is where your bracket goes on that. So we're gonna get this in. Y'all, we almost through with this job, baby. Tightening that up. Got a little heat on that knuckle. Ooh, it ain't playing. All right. All right, what I do with my, my little ring? Y'all don't want to see how that do. Y'all know how to tighten the boat, don't you? All right, we ain't going to, ain't a lug nothing now, so we just want to get a nice little snug on that. Look at that. Nice little slug. That's good. That's in there. We're gonna put this bracket back, get out the way. Pop this hood back down. Look at that. Bam. Gonna put that back on. All right. These was the long bolts that had to go through there. Y'all see that? My camera work ain't good today. I know y'all will tell me that my camera work ain't good. Y'all be like, you got the shakes, man. You got the shakes. I'm oh, sorry. Can't make everybody happy. We do what we can. Put that up. One hand band it, baby. They had that thing wrapped in parchment paper. Alright, boom. So just those two. Hold this bracket on. Let me tighten that stuff up. And we're gonna look at the next step here in just a second. That's on there, that little plate. It's on there. And you got these two here with these connectors on there. Now, y'all know I'm Jack all trade, baby. Uh oh, got my blanket in the camera. Y'all know I'm Jack all trade, so we got that on there. Now we're gonna put this on here. Alright. I'm gonna tell y'all the technical parts and time now. I'm gonna get you in the game. To what you need to do to get this thing on here now. Oh, 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 oh. That ain't working. From the bottom. Oh, I'm to get it hung up. Oh, what you got? Alright, so let's see. Go from the top. Mm-hmm. Number one way to skin a cat, baby. Alright, so we got that up there. Still putting my finger in there. All right, so that's on there. Got them two bolts in there. That one right here. Kind of good. When you got a little slack in there, you can see it threading in. That's good. Uno mas. One more down here in the hole. I'm gonna put that, put that heat to me. Yeah, let's see. It's a little screw. A little wire back there behind it. That's if you can see it, let me see. Get in here. So that, that little wire is right on that boat head. Trying to get in my way. Lift that up out your way. Now you can get your boat where you need to be. And get it spinning. You know what I'm saying? When something got you hung up while you're working on something, you don't just force it, cool. You have to find out what got you. That's why I test something up that you don't want to, uh, all right? So let me tighten all this up, y'all. All that's left to do then is to put the cover back on, put your oil cap back on your cover, and you're done. I'll show you that for those that really need to see it, but hold on a minute. Yeah, y'all, I got all off into it. I got my little husky from the, the dig bin, y'all. I got paid about 20 bucks for this thing. I, I pulled it out, didn't even use it, got all Start going by hand. Look at that thing. You had to get the job done. Uh -oh. I'm doing that good now. Look, 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 look. look at that. Shoot. You had to get the job done. This little husky. 12 volt lithium, y'all. Yeah. We get some good deals sometime. Let me see. I don't know. I can't get it on this and that. That same wire. It's down there trying to be in my way. I ain't showing you nothing. Look. 
the same way. It was in the way. So I'm gonna do a little check. Make sure that's tight enough. All right, Ken, folks. So I don't think this even took 30 minutes. We're gonna put this cat back on. This is the old one. The new one is in there, baby. You know what I'm saying? Everything nice and tight. So you got necessarily this, 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 one under the bottom, that one. Can you see my finger? Let me see. Right there. Let me, I got to find my own finger right there. Those four move this. Take those two big bolts out of that. One there, one down there, right on top of this belt. You get it out. Pull this out your way, pop the hood like I did, and you can get that sensor that's right behind here, bank one. All right, now, all we gotta do is take this nice little pretty cover. This will make the engine look pretty. All right, dust cap or whatever you wanna call it. Put it over this. Make sure all your, your little hooks, you got them two right there. All right, let's find them. Good. Swing that over a little bit. And what am I missing? That one right here. Drop this hoop and we're gonna fire it up. My sister in Christ gonna ride on. She alright. Alright, the greatest among you will be a servant. We'll see y'all.